Hey, what's up, people? How you doing? My name is Tony, and I'm currently a security officer. I've been doing security work for about 18 years, I believe. And it's something that it's okay. It pays the bills, man. It's uh, a lot of people, you know, look at us like we're jokes. But to be honest with you, uh, we really ain't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, we know how to defend ourselves, depending what, where you at, and how much training they give you. But I'm a very trained security officer, and I am very capable of defending myself at all times and at all costs. Um, to be a security officer, you definitely have to know common sense. Common sense comes with you every day to work. You know, there are times that you got to observe and report and decide whether or not to call 911 on a situation. Uh, you have to be prepared for all that. You also have to know how to um, de-escalate situations. You'll probably have somebody get in your face because you have to approach them and tell them that they need to either leave the property or, um, you know, you call the cops and stuff like that. Usually people out there that don't, don't have their brains right We'll wind up getting stupid with you and of course if you're like me you're gonna get upset but you take the tone down be professional look dead in their face and say what you have to tell them they don't leave call the cops hey and walk away now if somebody attacks you hey I would do the same thing somebody attacks me I have a hundred percent legal right to defend myself so if I tell somebody they have to leave a property and they decide to swing at me guess what I'm not going to stay hit I'm going to make sure he hits the ground and eats the floor with his front teeth because I'm not going to take that bullshit you know what I mean see I was born and raised in Brooklyn New York I've been in the streets done it all but never got caught, never went to jail, got a clean record. I decided to grow up, and I did, and this is why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. The reason I'm not a cop is because I had a bad injury. Yep, bad injury will fuck your world up if you want to become a police officer. That's exactly what happened to me. But life goes on, you know what I'm saying? Life goes on, you know? Um... I, I feel I was born to be a police officer. I'm sure all you security officers out there feel that way. 85% um, of the police officers out there cannot lie. They started out as security officers. That's how they want to become police officers. First, you give it a try with security. Then you jump into police, right or wrong? Because I know when... I was younger, I wanted to be a cop. But then I started learning how to be a security officer and I liked it. I liked what I was doing. Then it made me want to be a cop even more. But it was too late for me because um, my back, my back injury. But it is what it is, you know. But a security job is, is, is difficult sometimes and hard. People say, oh, you got it easy, man. You're just walking around. Yeah. You want to work for me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't talk shit. You want to do my job. You want to walk around for like 14, 16 hours a day? You know, because that's what they do to us in, uh, you know, security companies. They'll call us up and expect us to say yeah all the time. We could finish one eight-hour shift and you'll get a call. Hey, uh, you think you could do another shift? Of course you're going to want to, you know, if you like making money, you're going to say yeah, right? So that winds up happening and... When you come to see, you did a double shift almost every day. And it gets tiring after a while. You want a day off sometimes, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, security is, is easy and it's hard. Mentally, it's hard. You got to maintain yourself awake all the time, focus, 
you got to keep an eye on stuff, you know, um, and, you know, learn how to pinpoint anything suspicious and all that good stuff, you know. But it's a rewarding job, you know. By the end of the day, I go home, I feel good that I kept these people around here, you see. I'm doing security in a building complex out here in Massachusetts. As you can see, I got the car with the lights. Simple car, you know, little little car with lights. The reason I got my lights on is because if you're a security officer, you know why we got to keep the lights on. To keep management over here happy and know that you're here. Just in case they want to sneak around and keep an eye on us, they know where we're at. Also, it shows the residents, the tenants, that we're on site and we're keeping them safe and secured. So they can sleep at night, sleep well at night, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's what we do. Anyway, so um, until I make another video, I'm. this is my first video talking about security. I might uh, make another one. Depending how many views I get with this one, but uh, uh, f feel free to comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Hey, um, I'll definitely uh, answer you back. Any questions, I'll answer back. And uh, any info you need, hey, holla at me, okay? You guys have a safe night out there. And for all my security brothers out there, man, you know what's up, man. Let's keep it real, bro. All right? Be safe. One.